Welcome to today's Man of Moment. It's not Chaplain Wilson today, it's Phil Riken. As you might know, I'm president of Wheaton College. It's my privilege to read these verses from Scripture for us. It's from Genesis 37, and many of you will recognize the story. It's the story of Joseph being sold by his brothers, and particularly notice the role of the elder brother Judah. Then Judah said to his brothers, What profit is it if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers listened to him. Then Midian, then Midianite traders passed by, and they drew Joseph up and lifted him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for 20 shekels of silver. They took Joseph to Egypt. What a terrible moment this was for Joseph. There are a number of stories like this in the Bible of a faithful follower of God being cast down into a pit. In this case, he was rescued from the pit, but then sold into slavery. And in a way, I have even greater pity for Judah than for Joseph. What a terrible thing to be in a conflict with your own brothers and to be in a situation where you feel like the right thing to do is not to kill a brother, but to sell him into slavery and almost to feel morally justified for doing it. Uh, Judah was not in place of godly leadership at this moment. What I think is so amazing is if you follow the story through, not only does Joseph get rescued and he becomes the prince of Egypt, and that's a famous story that people still sing about today, but Judah becomes a sacrificial servant. It's much later on in the story when there's a moment of conflict and Judah's little brother Benjamin is in danger of being put in prison, being in effect enslaved. Judah says, no, take my place. Judah becomes one who is willing to offer himself as the substitute. And it's not a surprise that Jesus of Nazareth came from the line of Judah, which is the kingly line, but it's also the line of, of sacrifice and laying down your life for others. There's a little parable of the gospel in the life of Judah. And hopefully there's a redemptive moment for us as well. Not to be those who for our own profit or because of what other people think, do the wrong thing and then try to justify it, as is so tempting for us to do, but actually to live lives where we lay our lives down for others and live lives of self-sacrifice the way that Jesus did, just following in his example as our Savior. Uh, be encouraged this, this Monday in this man a moment. Uh, don't do the easy or convenient thing which you know is wrong. Do the costly and difficult thing which honors Jesus and bears something of his beauty for the world. That's our challenge on this Monday. And Lord Jesus, we, we pray this blessing over the Wheaton College community, students, faculty, staff, alumni, parents, anyone who may be connected to Wheaton and enjoys this spiritual encouragement. Uh, today is a day when in some way we'll have an opportunity to live for others rather than to live for ourselves. Help us be like the brother that Judah became and like the savior that Jesus is. It's in his name that we pray. Amen.